So the rhythm session, we first have this chord. We're gonna play this note and we're gonna bar here. The D string, the G string and the B string. This is the first chord, right? So we have something like this. He plays this rhythm. Then he goes for this chord, which you're gonna play this note, this note, and this note, right? And you're gonna bar here, the top three strings. Then you go back to the first one. And then you just, you take this shape and play it right here, right? So it's gonna be, and the bar on the top three strings. So it's gonna be. All right, so we, we basically have two chord shapes, which is just this one. And you don't play the, you don't play the, the A string, right? You, you kind of, you mute it with, his, with this finger. So this is the, fir the first chord shape and the second chord shape is this one. And this, and then you're just gonna move to this position, right? So uh, this is how the rhythm goes. starts all over again. Alright, so we're going to play C minor and pentatonic. So the first four notes are... Right? And you're going to play them like this. Then the second part is going to go like this. You're going to leave a bar here. So, so we're going to play the whole lick just like this. Next lick of this session goes like this. Right, so slowly you're gonna play like this. These are the two first notes. On the second note, you're gonna put some vibrato on it. Right? Then, these two notes. So we have. And then we have a bend here. So we're gonna we're gonna go like this. Whole bend. Then together playing slowly right. 
It's a triplet, right? I'm using my pick, he uses his fingers, right? But uh, it's up to you. Even if I use my fingers, I wouldn't be able to play like him because that's not my style. So yeah, I'm just focusing on the notes here, right? Next lick goes like this. Right, so I'm gonna this note and this note. You're gonna blend just a little bit. Right? This note he plays very this this lick he plays at a very low volume. This is on the B string, right? right? Then the last part. Now the next lick's gonna go like this. Right? Right here. Put a lot of vibrato. Then. So. This is the rhythm. Then the last four notes. And now the next lick is gonna go like this. Right, so we're gonna play here with a lot of vibrato. Right, and then we're gonna play here. So. Then we're gonna play on the third string, we're gonna do a full bend. Right? So far we have. Then the last three notes. Three notes are a triplet. He uses a lot. <laughs> right? 
The very last lick of this section goes like this. <laughs> gonna play the top two strings then you're gonna on the on the G string and the D string so right so the first hit you hit only the top just two strings and then you hit the top three strings and you do this Top three strings with the pull off and hammer on, hammer on, pull off. Then, then the last uh, notes are. Right? So the last notes are. gonna play that triplet right So the whole section goes like this. So on this section, uh, the first lick goes like this. You're gonna bar on the top three strings. And you're gonna hit the top two strings first. And then you're gonna start doing some hammer-ons and pull-offs. But you're gonna hit harder on the top two strings. So you can barely hear this. You're gonna hear uh, more of the top two strings right. then we're gonna play this note First lick goes like this. Right? One more time. The second lick goes like this. A whole band. Right? Play that triplet. So the notes are. Right, so we 
gonna da 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 at the end. So this next lick gonna go like this. Right? So the first note right here. Then put a lot of vibrato. Then right? So To this point we have right then you're gonna bend right so up to this point we have then we're gonna have that triplet. the next lick it's still a triplet it's gonna go like this <laughs> Part's gonna be the next, next leak goes like this. Right, so first note. Right, then after this, we're gonna play this pattern that's gonna go like this. Right, so, so, first this note, then we start the pattern. Right, so we're gonna keep a bar here on the top two strings and gonna go like this. Right? So at the very end of this part, you're gonna just hit once on the E string. So, right? So at the very end, you're gonna have the following notes. So, it's gonna sound like this. Right, so up to this point we have. Right? Um, so you might ask yourself, when do I know when I have to Stop to play in the circular pattern and go for the... You know, I don't count how many times I'm playing this. Uh, I just listen to the song a lot of times and I know in my mind when I have to stop, right? So this section ends like this. Right, so you're gonna bend the full bend. So, you're gonna play 
that triplet. So the whole section is going to go like this. So now we're gonna go through the licks he plays while he's singing, right? So we're gonna go uh, through the first uh, first cycle. So I'm your rice man, baby. I am here to cool you down. So he plays this lick, right? So here, rice man, lady, I'm not here to cool you down. Right? So the notes are. And then you're gonna bend a half step, right? So, so it's gonna like. I'm your eyes, man, baby. I here to go you down. Right. So now he moves to the second chord, which is. Which is basically the same notes, right? So it's just played on a different way. So it's gonna be, you know? And we, we, we're not gonna play this, just gonna play this. So this is the second lick he plays while he's singing, right? So far we have some. I spent maybe I'm here to go down. He played the, the next two chords. And he played the, the last two chords. So. Right? So the lick is. Right? with some hip rhythm it's gonna be like this right so because he finishes on this note because it's this chord that Second time around, we have that part that he says, I'm gonna play this old guitar. And then he does this licks. It's that triplet, right? Da -da -da. Right? I'm gonna play this old guitar. Da -da 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 -da. Then he says, all right, uh, I'm going to play the slow guitar and mix up some fire with my eyes. Then he plays licks, this lick. Right? You play here and you slide. Then put a lot of vibrato. Right? Right, so far we have. It's a whole band. Then we have that triplet. Ta -ta -da -da. I recommend.
want you to play this with this finger, using this finger. Alright, so it's... He uses a lot this. Alright. So the whole lick goes like this. He goes, I'm gonna play the soul guitar. Right? I'm gonna play the soul guitar. Just a simple lick right here. I'm gonna play the soul guitar. Make some fire with my eyes. Here. I'm gonna play the soul guitar. Make some fire with my eyes. Right? So when he sings, Mix up some fire with my eyes, he plays this lick. Which is. It's a whole band. that band when he plays his note Put some rhythm on it. All right, then he sings. I left Leona, Texas, to hit the coolest place in town. Right? So this lick goes like this. This is the first part. Then we have... Right? So first we have... Then we have... Do the half step bend in the end. And you put some rhythm on it. like this. Right? And then he goes into the solo. Well, the first lick of this session, we're going to bar right here. On the first, the E string, B string, and G string, we're going to bar, right? And we're going to move our finger on, on, on the G string. We're going to do some hammer-ons. We have to use these fingers, right? These are the notes. Always remember to keep this bar right here. But we're gonna play all of the three strings. He does like this rhythm with his with his finger, like something like this. You can do it with 
the peak, there's no problem with that, right? There's one thing here for you to pay attention that if you look on uh, Albert Collins' uh, video, he uses a capo, right? So he has the capo right here. And he only do this thing. He doesn't, he needs to bar with his finger right here, it is because of his tuning. Right? So it's a very unconventional way to play the way we're playing. Like doing this stretch with three fingers. You, you never see blues player, players play like that. But we have to do that because we're playing an Albert Collins song uh, using standard tuning, right? So let's go back to the music. To the song, right? So put a bar right here and you're gonna keep on... And at the very end, you're going to play this note. It's just some pull-offs. Right? Right? So, so far we have. So on the, this first part, we have this. Alright. So the whole section, now. So this session it starts like this, play it, you don't need to use your pinky, you can play with this one, but don't forget to mute the string with this fingers, right? So, a lot of vibrato, then, pull off, then slide. Next part we have. Right. Then. Right. Right, so we have you're gonna do that half staff band, he does this a lot. Then you're gonna hit this note, so we're gonna have. this right so far we have
just two notes. And now we have a turnaround using the blue note. Right? Just hammer ons. This is the whole lick, right? session we have this you do a full band sound like this with rhythm. Right? Then move to the next part. Right? So far we have. Right? And then on the next session you're gonna do this on the fifth string, right? So, I'm gonna play here. And you do you do kind of a micro bend. You're gonna have to leave this finger because you're gonna use it like. And then you're gonna hit on the G string right here. Put some vibrato on it. Kind of a, a, a half half step band. He always does it. And here's just a little bit, just to to give something like a a new ones. Right. Then we have this. Have. 
this lick, you, you kind of do a pull off, and then you hit with the pick. Right? So far we have. Then we're gonna do two times a half step back. And then we're gonna repeat again the same lick. So far we have right, and then we're gonna do a slide. Right, so the, the last two notes are this one are, are this ones. Right? We're gonna do it with a slide, something like Right? So the whole session, the, the whole part goes like this. That half step bend, right? So the whole solo, the middle solo, goes like this. So, on the singing part, he goes like this, he sings. I'm a rice man, baby, call me out if you please. Then he goes. Right? So you play this note. Then you do a full bend. Then you do that triplet. That Albert triplet. Ta -ta -da -da. So it's going to be right. Full band, triplet. Right. So it's going to go something like this. Um, I'm your ice man, baby. Call me out if you please. And then he plays it again, the same triplet. Right. And then he goes to the next phrase. And then he goes, I'm a rice man lady, I'm so hot I'm about to freeze. So this is the lick he plays. Right? I'm so rice man lady, I'm so hot I'm about to freeze. Then he sings. I'm gonna whip up a twister, turn turn tornadoes to a breeze. Then he pays this lick. You can play with your thumb, right? So it's gonna be. And then he goes to the final solo.
final solo starts like this with a double right and then we go here right so Go for that triplet. Da -da -da -da. Right? This is the triplet. I'm gonna play like that. -da -da. And the second part goes like this. You're going to play one octave. Right? On the D string, then. Albert loves this note, right? It's basically the same lick, but you're going to play octaves. It only changes on the, the end, right? Because on the other one you have that triplet. And on this part you don't have. So we're gonna play like this. have this pull off right so we're gonna play that half step band gonna go like this then on the last you kind of just a little bit bend it and then on the end you do a half step bend so this first part goes like this So this part, we're going to play it like this. Right. Then after this, you're going to slide. Right, so we, first let's repeat this part. You're going to play it like this. Then slide. You don't you don't pick. You just slide. Then right. So the next part gonna be like this. So right from the beginning we have. gonna play with some rhythm right. then we're gonna have a triplet this is gonna be a different a different triplet it's gonna be something like this pull off and then you do that half step band
right from the start we have. Again. Right. Now with rhythm. That triplet is very hard to get, right? You're gonna have to practice a lot. Alright, so the next part we're gonna play like this. Right, you're gonna hit the 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 low E string with your thumb. Again, the strips are very hard. Then, after this part, you're gonna play this. Right, so. You do that half step in. Right from the start we have again. I'm sorry. Then at the very end of this part we have this lick. So right from the beginning of this part. Sorry. Right. So on this part we have this. That's this is a lick that he plays a lot, right? We I have already teach you to play this one at some point in the song. So So we have. Which is the chord of the progression. Right? Here, here. So the next part goes like this, this note, and then we're going to play a, pre a triplet.
This is the truth. <laughs> After the triplet, you're gonna do a full bend. Right? And then you're gonna have the triplet again. With the thumb, that one with the thumb. very last lick of this session goes like this that half step band then you're gonna do some right you're gonna play it like this very hard timing to get what he's playing so you're gonna have to listen a lot to the music to get this very last part because after all he's improvising right he, he's not thinking about what note he's gonna play he's just going with the feeling that's what blues is all about so the whole session goes like this <laughs> All right, so we're finally uh, on the last part of the song and he keeps playing the same lick which is great because repetition is a great thing you, you know I love to play this part it has a lot of rhythm and I'm, I'm pretty sure the crowd would enjoy it in a live situation too so he plays this note <laughs> This one, then, and you kind of do that half step band again. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put some rhythm. You gotta put some rhythm with your, uh, with your right hand, with your picking hand on. 
right? <laughs> keep on playing that and you know until we go to the next part right so in this next section we're gonna play this note right So we made it to the very last lick, and it goes like this. Right? So we start right here with a full bend. Then. string you bar and you play the D string and the G string right and then we're gonna play this notes this one and this one and it's, it's gonna be both at the same time but on the fifth string you're gonna bend a half step it's gonna sound something like this C7 minor, C minor 7, C minor 7. And then he does. He goes for a half step bend again. And that's all, folks. Thanks for watching.